Welcome back. Now, one of the other things you can do to increase the number of people that will see your recordings is you can place your content into playlists. And so to do that, you're going to go from your video manager, from the videos link to this link that says playlists. And when you get there, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new playlist. You're going to give your playlist a title. You can decide on whether or not the playlist is going to be public, whether or not it's going to be unlisted, or whether or not it's going to be private and only you can see it. Now, if you want the maximum reach, you'll want to leave it public. So what you're going to do is you're then going to click Create. You're then going to be brought to this page. And you can do a couple of things with this playlist. First, what you can do is you can click in this pencil. Then you can add in a description. Once you've done that, if you click outside, then your changes will be saved. You can then click playlist settings. Once again, you can decide whether or not the playlist is going to be public. You can determine that you are going to direct how the videos are ordered in your playlist, or you can use an automatic system. You can decide whether or not your playlist can be embedded so other people can take that playlist and put it on their website or some other web property. And you can determine whether or not this playlist is going to be an official series, meaning that the videos that you place inside of this playlist will only be in this playlist and that's the only way that they'll be able to be experienced as a group. Now you can determine that some videos will be auto added to your playlist. So for example, if your title has a certain word in it, you can say that this will be part of your playlist. And there are other rules that you can do. Your subscription has a certain word or there's a certain tag. And basically what you'll be doing is you'll be naming these things so that you know that they will automatically put like content into the designated playlist. You can also allow others to add to your playlist. So for example, if we turn this on, we can then allow others by giving them the link to this playlist in order to become a contributor. Once we have all those things, we can then click save. We can then add videos to the playlist. Now there's one more thing with respect to playlists that you'll want to be aware of. And you're going to need to go to the front of your channel in order to see it. Now if you come down to the beginning of your channel, what you're going to see is that we can add in our playlist. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Customize Channel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a section. And what we can do is we can determine what that section is going to be. We're going to determine that we're going to add in a single playlist. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out in a horizontal row. We're then going to choose a particular playlist. And once we have that playlist selected, we can then click Done. Then when people come to our front page, they'll then be able to see that playlist on our front page. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.